Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dak Dak, and today we're playing some more clan folks. So, that intro sounds weird as sin. We're playing some clan. Anyway, it's the name of the game, all right? It doesn't mean anything dodgy. So, we've done our first day. We've done a million tutorials. We've set up some eel farming just down this way, some washing and drinking spots over this way. A sleep tutorial. I don't think I need a tutorial on sleeping, but I'll, I'll follow it anyway. Um, all clan folk are now sleeping. For the best sleep, clan folk need a dark, quiet, warm room with a roof. Don't we all? Clan folk will s uh, remain asleep until sunrise, but they may oversleep if too tired. Clan folk will try to refill their attributes before starting work in the morning. Speed up time to make night pass as quickly as possible. You'll notice it goes to 12 times speed. Why are you guys unhappy? Disturbed sleep? Bad talk? Had a bad sleeping outside? Grouchy? Well fed? Too bright? Um, it's, it's spitting embers at you. I don't like. I don't like that. Not at all. Now, unlike RimWorld, they don't seem to have mood debuffs and stuff. Very low food. We're working on it. All right, just chill your beans. We need stone hose. We've got four of them queued to be made. Calm yourself, game. Calm. Storages. Crafting. Food. I mean, we've got nothing new at the minute. Absolutely nothing new. Crops, we can grow reeds by the shoreline. I'm not that fussed about them just yet. We have no eels. They're going to do it in the morning game. God. Can somebody please move that sickle out of the fire, please? Uh, Sir Oaks can get some threshing done. Ayumi is going to feed Steven. Did anybody notice that one then? Anyway, we've unlocked grass. Yay. Oh, dear. I mean, I don't want to plant that yet, because later down the line you can do tilled soil and whatnot, so we're going to wait for that. We've unlocked a hay roof. We've unlocked hay walls. We've unlocked straw door, and we've got no walls. So that's because we've got loads and loads of straw. Um, we've also unlocked storages for a serving basket, a store for... A place to store fruits and vegetables off the ground. So let's throw ourselves one of these. Probably not right next to the fire. When I played off camera, I'd actually got this way before. I got the um, the fireplace. It's probably because the amount of straw that we're getting. So we're now getting some eels. Works be 100%. This is a nice big lake. That's why I wanted to start here. And the reason I wanted to start near multiple lakes is because I could go and put other traps over here and over here. Like it said, we don't want to overfish the um, the zones. It almost sounds like I know what I'm on about, doesn't it? That's that's pretty impressive for a start. So we've not actually had a proper look in the ideas tree before. If we come down, it shows you the things that are locked. And to unlock this, we need to find a flex shaft. And then we need to have the thresher, which we've already got. Um, same for this, we need to find out, oh, it's sheaf isn't it, not shaft. Uh, we need to find those and then we can unlock oats as well. We've got straw curtains, straw windows, raw reels, cooking fire, critter door. I assume that's for catching things. For that we need to build a straw door. We could actually start building our house I guess. Because we've got the walls unlocked. So I just want enough room for seven beds. We're going to have like a barracks style bedroom in here. So if we go one bed, two bed, three bed, four bed gap. Beds are too wide. A walk space down the middle. Too wide and a wall there. There's enough room in here for seven. Well, for eight beds actually. With a gap on the end. Do I really need a gap on the end? One, two, one, two, three, four. I could just have doorway there. Let's not do that. Two, three, four. I meant this to come down this way. And buildings. Cancel this one, cancel this one. We want straw doors. So we're going to have a straw house. Hopefully there's no big bad wolves around. And we'll have a hay roof to go on the top. This might be a little bit too much for the building to start with. Yeah, it's showing here that we've not got any um, hay. We need more. This is why I wanted them chopping down a massive chunk of this field. We need more sticks. 
I don't think we can actually get any from any of these at the minute. We already harvested them recently. The music in this game proper goes off. It's brilliant. We can get these trees down here. We have got a little bit of a forest down this way. You keep telling me that we need stone hoes. I'm I'm telling you that we're making stone hoes. We just need the stuff. We need branches. That's what we need the branches for. All right, then. Calm yourself, Stan. Jesus Christ. So the base is going to build upwards from this point, I think. Well, we can use all of this area. This is a huge flat area. On my... Um, game that I was practicing on. I just got one room that was slightly bigger than this, made out of stone with a nice stone floor. It looked pretty cool, if I do say so myself. How are those eels coming? They're not they're not coming very well. Hurry up. We have got some raw eels. We've now got some cooked eels. You can stop complaining about the food a little bit. Oh need bathrooms Inventory tutorial, needed twine, needed clay, needed stone axes. Hey, if it's telling me that we need these things, it means that we can make these things. So, need more bathrooms. We now have a poop hole. <laughs> oh dear. Now, I don't really want to put it near the drinking water. This actually, believe it or not, fertil well, it, it makes sense. It fertilizes the ground around it but then again let's go there and go there we'll get two poop holes i don't know if you want these like in the middle of a five by five farm or anything because then they can just go into the middle of the field do their business and um, it's going to fertilize the fields around them if we look or here i mean they've not used it yet so it's not fertilizing much but it would show how much Fertilization is happening around it. I'm glad you're all using the toilet together. Inventory tutorial. I skipped this one last time. Click the inventory. The inventory manual allows you to keep track of the count and location of your items. So if we click on tools and click on stone hose, it's going to show me where they all are. Oh, that's clever. Um, items with gear items can automatic automate their supply. Drag the auto supply slider to two to request two of these tools to always be available. Ah, I like, I like. I want it to be four. You're not going to let me do it to four, are you? It's got to be two. God damn tutorial telling me what to do. Uh, manual build queues take priority over automatic supply. Automatic supply will only occur when the build queue is empty or waiting until tomorrow. Right click to close menus. Thanks for that. Um, I'm going to just come back into here for a second. Inventory. I want this to be four. Steady aim button, save me. I want this to be four. Just because. I want this to be four. What do we need to make stone axes? Does it tell me here? We need five branches, ten stone, ten straw, and thirty seconds. Mmm, okay. Ingredients. We could set all these up to be automated as well, but let's just calm calm our roll at the minute. Raw reels. I mean, we've already set the cooking, uh, the eel traps up to get 10 and 10 daily, so let's not play around with that. It's a shame you can't automate these. Hay seeds, we've got billions of. Uh, flax stems, twine. Clothing, corpses and spoils. Nothing else new there. Jobs, we can now gather clay. Yummy. Yeah, that's just showing me what that is. Um, planting, we've unlocked soil and tilled soil. So, speed bonus minus 33. Hmm. Fertility bonus 25%, yield bonus 50%. I want fields. And admittedly, I can only plant grass at the minute, which is a bit counterproductive. But later down the line, this will work out better. Um, let's get some tilled soil. Is that 5 by 5 like that? Yeah. We'll just do a few 5x5 five five grids for now. Like so. And they'll become useful later down the line. Um, by the way, where are my chickens? All the way over there. Guys. Can you look like make your way over here? So you're at least a little bit closer to us, please. Um, 
Let's swap that back. Can we name the chickens, by the way? We can name... I'm not naming the chickens, but we can name the chickens. Um, Needed twine. How much twine do we need? Is this for the stone axe? It is not. In that case, I don't know why I need the twine at the minute. We've not made anything that needs twine. Storages. We've now got a meat rack. And in buildings, we've now got a dirt path. I don't think I'm bothered about that. Critters thought allows only small critters to pass through and allows the light into a room. Straw curtains, straw windows. Let's get ourselves a window there. A window there. This building isn't symmetrical, unfortunately. That'll be fine for now. <clears throat> we're making some stone axes. At least I believe we're making some stone axes. One, two, three, four. We, we don't need four, but let's just... If I actually set all these to two... Whoops. Clear two of them off. We don't need that many. Surely. Later down the line, when we've actually got resources coming in properly... We might be able to get four of each of these. And you do get like tool racks and stuff later on as well. Um, twine. What does this take to make? Just straw. Get me like 20 of this please. 25. Right. You can go away. You can go away. This is all good. We've still only got a single day's worth of food. Sucks pretty much. Let's get rid of all this stuff. Raven's getting some threshing done. She's making all the straw. Um, we've got 36 out of 200. They are building a gigantic house out of straw. Forgive them. I may need to cut some more of this grass. I'm actually fairly sure I need to cut some more of this grass. Let's just chop this lot up here. Um, we can move our sleep spots now as well, but there's no real reason to because I don't think we're that far from unlocking actual beds. Uh, sleep mat is right there. We just need to get some twine, which we've literally just set up to make. Once we've got these stone axes made. And we're waiting on straw, unfortunately. Would it have made more sense to chop this grass before we did the tilled soil? It does seem like it. It seems like they're just destroying the soil. Uh, destroying the straw. It's fine. I think we'll be fine for straw. Look at the forest all the way over there. Jesus. Ooh, that's what the iron looks like. I couldn't find any in my off-camera game. It said that it looked brown. At least we're close to some iron then. You'll be pleased to know that there isn't roof collapses quite like in RimWorld. So... I've not got to get all raged at. Um, we need stone axes, I know. We need clay, we need twine. We're making them, we're making them. If you're going to keep going on about clay, can we just farm this little bit of clay, please? Just so we've got a bit so it can shut the hell up. Oh, we've unlocked a new stockpile. Corpses. Why are, why are there corpses? Why have we got corpses? I didn't agree to this. We shouldn't have corpses. No, they're not actually destroying the straw. You can see it bundling up there. Hey, whatever. Same difference. Come on. So you can see down here all the different jobs we've got. And now you see why my RimWorld games were crap. Because I just queue way too many jobs up all at once. You'll be pleased to know that I did actually start a um, just a general game off camera. Because I wanted to try... A different style, as in I'm, I'm copying, flipping Adam versus everything style of base building. And it's working out so much better. Who would have thought it? Um, you now want stone picks as well. Just just set it up so we get two of those. I'm not bothered about putting any into the queue. So I want you to make some twine, if you don't mind. Uh, we need a charcoal kiln. We need stone pickaxes. And we've got a skills index tutorial. I didn't read this tutorial last time either. The skill index allows you to compare your clan folks' tasks priorities. Make sure there is a cook, crafter, builder, hunter, and farmer. Highlight the farming category to easily find the farming skill. I kind of figured this out already. So we've got two people that love farming. And that's right at the top. 
Some clan folk are especially good at certain jobs. They also sometimes really like or dislike types of jobs. Pick this clan fellow's farming skill. Uh, these buttons... Why is it explaining these buttons to me now? It's already told me to put things lower and higher much earlier on. Right click to close all menus. That's that tutorial done. Mm, cool. I want to start getting to all the different stockpiles, damn it. Charcoal kiln we'll get to at some point. The quicker we put these things down, the quicker we unlock new things. So we've now got clear trees, clear bushes, clear stumps. So I think we can clear these trees. I don't know if you get branches from them again later on or not. But... For now, we could just do with the wood. It's probably going to unlock something new. Unlocked clear all. Uh, needed sleep mats selection tutorial. We have unlocked sleep matches and standing torches. I mean, I wouldn't want to put one of these down in a hay building. It seems like we're going to get everything set on fire. Let's put down two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Just, just throw eight down. Unlocked gold ore. What? Ah, it's because we've got a pickaxe. We've unlocked mining. Selection tool. Similar objects can be multi-selected. Let's multi-select all clan folk on the screen. Double click a clan fellow to multi-select. No, no, I've got to double click them. Can you stop popping things up? Multi-select allows change in many similar objects at once. Right click to clear the multi-select tool. Try selecting all clan folk by left shift clicking. Uh, so I've not got to click twice. I've got to hold a button and click instead. Uh, select three clan folk by left control clicking. To add or remove them from selection, hold... Oh, yeah. So you just hold control and select more people. Uh, reminder, left clicking alert is a quick method to navigate to objects, jobs that are need to be fixed. So that's over this way. Some alerts have multiple solutions if they are clicked more than once. Ah, clever. Right click to clear the multi-select tool and there goes the tutorial. Thanks for that one. Stockpiles. So we now have a general stockpile. Which for now I think we can just slap over here. We've got a tools stockpile as well. Let's just slap that over there. Jobs, we've got clear all, so they will literally remove everything down to the ground. Mine gravel, mine mountains, fairly self-explanatory, I'd like to think. Clothes, and a clothes zone. For now, this seems to be our working spot, so let's just put this down here until we get, like, actual buildings up and running. Um, and then in buildings, we have got branch barn doors, branch gates. The animal paw, by the way, means that animals can pass through these. Allows large animals to pass through. Lovely. Um, we have got stone floors. We have got stone walls. If we go objects and storage. I've still not got all the other ones yet. What am I playing at? Where are all my other... <clears throat> my other storages? A mushroom rack. We need 50 mushrooms. Stone floor, daub wall, rock wall, animal bed, charcoal kiln, floor mat, stack... Oh, it says sack. Learn to read. Um, <laughs> stone piles, we need logs. Haystacks, we need logs. Log piles, we need logs. This is all the stuff that I want. We need logs. We need logs. We need logs. <clears throat> then I can actually start storing things properly. And being able to see them better. And then they're not going to be on the floor either. We've unlocked our floor mat. I've already put floor mats down, have I not? Oh, these are doormats. So these uh, used to keep floors clean, not needed for gravel or dirt floors. I'm still going to put one down. We want to keep inside the house clean. Uh, poop hole, standard torch, farming. We've now got animal beds as well. We will make a little barn for our chickens at some point soon. We're starting to gather a little bit of clay. Wool ash. Used in tanning leather and fertilizer. Or fertil yeah, fertilizer. That's what it said. We need the charcoal kiln for that. I know. I know. 
I've not set anywhere up yet that I want to use this for. I guess we could build a room. We could have a crafting room coming off of this that we make out of stone. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter <clears throat> if it's made out of stone or not. So long as we don't put the things that spit fire everywhere near the hay walls. But that seems like a good way to get murdered. Um, if we got, we haven't got rock roofs yet. This requires one large rock. Ingredients. We have 11. Make this into rock for now. I want the stockpile to come into this area as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just because. And others, we keeps the heat in and the animals are. Yeah, we need straw doors then straw curtain. Allows heat transfer between rooms. We'll end up having one of those there then. Let's have a straw door up this way as well so we can get in and out. This is all made out of rock. Yes, yes. And we need to stop telling me that I need that. God damn it. Mine the mountains across here. And let's mine stones as well because we're going to need stone. Day three in the Big Brother house. Today, she four. No, anyway, I'm not doing that anymore because I'm going to upset somebody with the crap accent impersonation. We still only have one day's worth of food, guys. What's going on here? Work speed's down to 46% and 46%. I guess we're killing this pond very slightly. Um, We can't plant berry bushes yet. We'd, we're, when do I get to berry bushes? Were, were, were that's all, folks. There's trees. Hmm. I had berry bushes dead early on last time. Berry bush right there. We need to get a hundred berries. Easy. Easy. Don't clear it. Don't clip now. Jobs. Mm -mm -mm. Gather berries. Just gather me. Mm, all of them. And then we can plant our own berries. See, this is general. Everything that is not dead or wrong can go here. So why aren't we hauling things like they were yesterday? We need more branches. This is for all the straw stuff. We need more stones. I'm aware of the more stones required. We are getting more stones. Excuse me. Jobs. Other branches. These trees are still branchless. We seem to have some more trees over this way, though. Hmm. We seem to have an entire forest over this way. Yummy. Yummy. Uh, ma -ma 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 -ma. Straw door. Somewhat like Mordor. One, two, three, four, five, there. Now... Let's build this one further up, and then it's an odd number. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this doormat doesn't actually need to go there anymore either. Or floor mat, whatever you want to call it. Build a straw door right there. You know what? Build a straw door right there as well. And another doormat. Proper giving them a ridiculous amount of jobs to be doing, but <clears throat> I'm sure they'll be fine with it. I do kind of need windows in here as well, but the good thing about this game is you can actually add windows in after the fact. The only problem is I've only got straw windows at the minute, and straw windows are quite flammable. So I don't really want to do that yet. Trees, we have unlocked berry bushes. Let's get ourselves a stack of berry bushes there, a stack of berry bushes there. Am I bothered about growing grass just yet? N not, not really. 
we're, we're still surrounded by the stuff. We'll save this other plot for trees or something. And at least now we're going to have our own little berry farm going. Go Raven go. Thrashing like a good one. <laughs> Phrasing, I guess. Could have been a little bit better there. Still only on one day's worth of food. Is it worth going and setting a few more fishing traps around? You know what? I think so. We've got a butcher block. Let me build. One of them over there. One of those over there. And one of those over there. Need to remember that they've got all these now. Butchering block I could actually set up quite easily. I think once I've started getting storage in this room. I could build off the side here and have a little bit of a kitchen. Oh. We're now inside. They're finally finishing the roofs off and stuff. See, we're up to 200 jobs now. I need to calm down. Uh, we've got a dump stockpile as well. I guess that can just come across here next to the general stockpile for now. Um, hunting. Butcher's block. This will lead into the bow. And then we can go hunt actual food. Yes. Proper storages. Right, we can actually just move all of these. I believe the hotkey is C to move stuff. Let's have... Two, three, four, five. That's a little bit excessive, I'm aware, but... And log pile. Like that. One, two, three, four, five for stone piles. And rock heaps. I like my storage being in order. If you've watched any of my other series, you will know this. We'll stick with the fives because they can walk across the top of it. We can even get tool racks out here as well. I've just made them a million more jobs, haven't I? I did say that I was waiting for the storage stuff to come in. <clears throat> the storage stuff is now in. We're going to have just storage for absolutely everything. Uh, we've unlocked a vent. Allows heat transfer between rooms. Can be open and closed. Cool. Um, we've now got wattle walls, daub walls. I, I still like the, um, the, the rock walls. It does take more work, but... Flammability none, flammability high. So I don't want to put a freaking hay roof across the top of this. How are we doing for our stones? We've got nine left. It's still not quite enough. Let's um, gather more stones from around here. Luckily, we're near a nice chunk of mountain. And you know what? I'm going to mine all this mountain out. This is where, like, famous what last words kick in, and it is actually more like Rimworld than I've realised, and I just get crushed. Right, we're good over here. Two of them wait till tomorrow, rinse and repeat. Priority high. I'm actually going to destroy one of these. We can move it. So we're doing that lake, we're doing that lake, we're doing that lake, we're doing that lake. We might as well do this lake as well. You've not built this one, you've not built this one. It is a fair bit of travelling for them to do, I am aware. But then again, they'll be fine, get a grip. Didn't I say something about potentially having the kitchen coming across this way? Anyway, let, let's, not, let's not think about that. <clears throat> you can actually just mine gravel from down here and then we can get some gravel roads. Actually, saying that out loud sounds like a fantastic idea. I could go stone floors, but for outside, for outside, let's have some gravel paths. So I always like a two wide strip in front of the house. And you know what? For our roads and such, we're going to have them too wide anyway. Day four in the big, br no, stop doing that. Um, that can come down this way. This might as well come straight down from the door. 
really. I mean, I like my roads three wide. Screw it, it's more work, but they'll be fine. And then we can have a three wide road coming up this way. This is a lot of infrastructure just to be setting up to get to some fish traps. <clears throat> it's fine though. At least this way I'm going to be able to see where the frigging things are. And we'll have it too wide just going around the um, house for now. I'd set stone floors up in here but I'm not that bothered at the minute. This floor is 0% flammable either way. Why is this floor flammable then? There's grass in the house. <clears throat> Somebody get that? What oh, ideas have we got? You're still telling me about the... A fun activity for clan folk. So we need flutes to be made as well then, don't we? Um, Just make me two. That's one. Two. And now that we've got tool racks, once they've been built up, I'll start actually making one tool rack for one thing. Um, so at the minute we've got one, two, three, well actually these aren't the same sort of tools. One, two, three, four. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've unlocked log walls. We're still going to go with stone walls because they're not flammable. Just keep it in front of the amount of stone that we need. Please, please no roof collapses. I'm traumatized by Rimworld and friggin' roof collapses. It's just not even funny, right? There's only so many times a mountainous roof can fall on somebody and slice the neck open before I stop laughing. To be fair, the answer to that one is normally one. One time that can happen. <clears throat> we have a flute rack. Storages. Keeps flutes off the floor. Peasants put them in their mouths. I don't think we're going to need a ridiculous amount of flute ranks, honestly. It seems like the sort of thing that would need to be inside, though. It does rain in this game, by the way, and um, things don't like getting wet. Can this get done immediately, please? This eel trap is going. It's getting me 10. Good. Is this... It? Yes, this one has come back up. Not doing anything over there yet. Not doing anything over there yet. Not doing anything over there yet. I th they've still got a lot of... They've got 500 jobs to do. Holy Christ, I need to calm down. It's all the flooring. The gravel floor looks nice though, doesn't it? And then eventually we'll get all this stuff moved as well. This has just got berries and... Um, what you call it's on there for now. So I need more berries to plant these, unfortunately. Um, gather berries. Just get an obscene amount of berries. <laughs> it's all right. They only had too many jobs already. Let's just throw in a few more. I want these berry fields to be full. I've still only got one day's worth of food, by the way. Here comes the rain. It's like I called it. Yeah, I, I need to let them work through some of these tasks, otherwise they're just going to hate me. I actually think this is a good place to leave our episode off. So we've started building the storage up, we've started getting a main house, we'll upgrade these, roof, uh, these walls to stone at some point soon. Swap the roof out for a stone roof, which you can turn the roofs on, by the way. I actually like the auto roofs, looking at it. What is Steven doing? Baby Steven. He's a baby for 36,000 seconds. Health slow, food slow, sleep slow. It's getting towards the end of the day, right? You're ready for a good nap. Bathroom's low. Sir Oak putting baby Steven to bed. <laughs> Sir Oak is ripped. Holy crap. Anyway, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for today's episode. So... I actually need to get a roof over this as well, because it's going to get all my resources wet, isn't it? Um, we can just build 
a rock wall there and have that as a pillar and roof out over this storage zone, which I could expand out further later down the line. Again, though, like RimWorld, I don't want to plan too far in front because disasters can happen. If this is anything like that game, then disasters will happen and I won't be able to handle them properly. By the way, two days worth of food now. Yay. Anyway. That's where we're going to leave it. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more. All comments and feedback really appreciated as always. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.